Just when I thought that it wasn't possible for Joe Rogan to get any worse, he keeps getting progressively worse. And look, I was never a fan of Joe Rogan. In fact, I hated Joe Rogan before it was cool to hate Joe Rogan. Having said that though, even I can acknowledge that there was a time where he would actually talk to physicists. He'd bring on folks to talk about astronomy and actual science. But now it seems like he's always talking to right-wing reactionaries and conspiracy theorists. And you can see the way that it's directly changing his worldview, where he's no longer trusting the science on a plethora of issues, where he's no longer, you know, at least somewhat liberal when it comes to economics and uh, social policy. Uh, but now he's just indistinguishable from uh, conspiracy theorists that you see uh, everywhere. And it's really depressing to see, uh, not because I care about Joe Rogan, I couldn't care less about him as an individual, but I care because there are millions of people that tune in every single day to listen to his broadcasts. What he says, it actually holds weight. It has a real world impact. People take him seriously and they take what he says seriously. So when he does things like this, what we're about to see, I can't help but think he's a lost cause. So here is Joe Rogan uh, actively discouraging folks who are younger, uh, telling them to not get the COVID vaccine. And people say, do you think it's safe to get vaccinated? I've said, yeah, I think for the most part, it's safe to get vaccinated. I do. I do. But if you're like 21 years old and you say to me, should I get vaccinated? I, I go, no. Yeah. You're, are you healthy? Are you a healthy person? Like, look, don't do anything stupid, but you should take care of yourself. You yeah. should, if you're, if you're a healthy person and you're exercising all the time and you're young and you're eating well, and like, I don't think you need to worry about this. Yeah, I, t I tend to agree with you. But there's a uh, lot of jobs that will tell you you need to have this. Well, that's what's but starting to happen now. People are worried about them doing it for their children. And we talked about this earlier, yeah. There's that the, 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 the you might have to have your, your children vaccinated. And, you know, I can tell you as someone who's both both my children got the, va the, the virus, it was nothing. I mean, I hate to say that if someone's children died from this, I'm very sorry that that happened. I'm not... I'm not in any way diminishing that, but I'm saying the personal experience that my children had with COVID was nothing. One of the kids had a headache. The other one didn't feel good for a couple of days. Yeah. Like maybe, I mean, not feel good. Like, mm, like no, no big deal. No coughing, right. no, no, no achy, no like an agony. There was none of that. It was very mild. It was, it was akin to them getting a cold. Yeah, and you can have this thing where it's like you were saying this virtue signaling and this kind of like theatrical display of I get the vaccine, what a good person I am, I care about everyone. But you're like, look, I'm, I'm, my daughter's a lot younger than your kids, but I'm like, yeah, I'm not injecting my daughter with something to fucking virtue signal. Right. Like, I'm not doing that. Right. If there's something that she's of no risk, statistically has no risk from, right. I'm sorry, I'm not taking any experiment uh, on her in, in that. And that's that's my attitude But it's it. amazing that that's controversial. Yeah. That even saying that, I'm not going to inject my child with the vaccine is controversial. Yeah. It's crazy. Because, again, we are not talking about even the flu that we just found out killed 22,000 people last year. We're not talking about that. Right. We're talking about something that is not statistically dangerous for children but yeah. yet people still want you to get your child vaccinated which is crazy to me yeah like you should be vaccinated if you are vulnerable it doesn't work that way you fucking moron that's not the way that this works does he not even think about what might happen if enough people took him seriously, if you're a young person and you think that you can't catch a virus because you eat healthy and you work out, what if you do catch that virus and you end up dying or you spread it to one of your loved ones? Like, does Joe Rogan not think through the consequences? How the things he says has a real world impact? Is he not worried that his stupidity is going to get one of his fans killed? I just, I don't know how... He sleeps at night spreading this level of stupidity and misinformation that is actually deadly. I mean, with how many people watch Joe Rogan's podcast, how many people now has he just convinced to not take the COVID vaccine? It's just honestly, it's shocking 
to have no level of regard, no sense of responsibility for that gigantic platform that you have, for the you know immense amount of power that you hold. He says, if you're a healthy person and you're exercising all the time and you're young and you're eating well, I don't think you need to worry about it. That's not the way that viruses work. A virus isn't going to think, hmm, who should I infect? That person is young and you know they're, they're eating healthy and they're exercising. I guess I'll go and infect this other person. I mean, that's not the way that this works. I shouldn't have to explain this to a 50 plus year old man. And furthermore, even if you're lucky enough to survive COVID-19, there are long-term health ramifications that we are still, till this day, learning about. And first of all, more and more young people are getting hospitalized as new variants spread. Second of all, a study from UC Berkeley found that even if you're lucky enough to survive COVID-19, you may still deal with long-term damage to your heart your lungs, your nervous system. This is a serious virus, and some younger COVID patients actually died due to strokes. The point is, we're still learning about the virus. So for you to say this, to actually discourage people from getting the vaccine if they're young, what the fuck are you thinking? Have you lost your mind? Any sense of reason? Have you just like flushed it all down the toilet? What's going on here, Joe? What the fuck is going on here? And, um, you know, he at least admits, sure, there are some people that had kids died due to COVID-19 and that's sad, but I mean, my kids got it and they were fine. There are some people who get COVID-19 and they have no symptoms at all. They're completely asymptomatic. Other folks die from it. This affects people in a plethora of ways. So for you to just say, you know what, if you're young, don't even worry about it because my kids were fine. That's just so irresponsible and reckless. And his guest added, I'm not injecting my daughter with something to fucking virtue signal. And he adds, I'm not taking any experiments on her. First of all, it's not virtue signaling to vaccinate your child. It's science, bitch. It's science. And if you want your daughter to be admitted into school, you're going to have to provide them with proof that she's received numerous vaccinations. And imagine being so arrogant to think that this vaccine that's been proven to be safe, that's already been uh, used to inoculate millions of people around the globe, you just think, well, you know what? I think it's an experiment, so I'm going to uh, just say it's an experiment to millions of people. Do you have a degree in uh, any scientific field? Do you know about epidemiology? No? So shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up because you don't know what you're talking about. But Joe Rogan chimes in saying it's amazing that that's controversial. Except it's controversial because you're not just having a conversation with your bro behind closed doors. You're broadcasting your idiocy to millions of people. And what you say has ramifications. It influences society, which in turn influences all of us at the individual level. The macro impact that you have has a micro level impact on all of our lives. So yeah, it's a little bit controversial. I actually am a little bit irritated because idiots like you, Joe Rogan, are doing your part to prolong the duration of this fucking pandemic that I desperately want to be over so I can see my family again. I mean, folks like Joe Rogan, he's never taken the pandemic seriously, right? He complained about masks. He complains about lockdowns. And now he's complaining about the vaccine. So no matter what we do to address the pandemic, he's not satisfied. He just wants to pretend as if it's not a thing. And that's the way that he's carried on with his life, carelessly and recklessly so. But for folks who actually care about their loved ones, who take it seriously, at some point in time in the next decade, I would love to just go back to pre-pandemic life. It's not like that was perfect, but to not worry about possibly infecting someone that I love, that would be a great feeling. But dumb fucks like Joe Rogan, they're doing their part to make sure this pandemic lasts forever. And there's always this argument, well, look, if you want to get vaccinated, that's fine. You get inoculated and you can protect yourself and I'll choose to do my own thing. Except the way that we stop pandemics is by achieving herd immunity. And vaccines are one way to reach herd immunity. So if it's the case that, mm, let's just say 35% of the population reaches herd immunity, and that's not enough because likely that wouldn't be enough. Ideally, we're aiming for 70 to 85%, depending on the epidemiologist that you ask. But let's say that we don't actually reach herd immunity and the virus continues to infect people and spread throughout the globe. 
guess what happens? Eventually, all of the vaccines that we've taken to protect ourselves, well, a new variant might emerge that is resistant to the vaccines. And we're all fucked and we're back to square one. And folks like Joe Rogan, who spread this misinformation, are to thank for that because he's a conspiracy theorist who sounds no different than some homeopathic, you know, snake oil salesman. No, it's not the case that you can not get COVID-19 if you exercise. No, it's not the case that uh, you can stop yourself from getting cancer if you eat healthy. That's not the way that things work. Bring on a scientist that you used to speak with. Have them talk about it. And if you brought on an epidemiologist or someone who knows anything about the pandemic, uh, obviously what they said didn't penetrate that thick skull of yours, so bring them back on. Have them state it again. Because holy fucking shit. What you're doing is so dangerous. And the fact that you don't have any sense of responsibility when you broadcast to millions of people shows that you are either a careless prick or you actually are genuinely stupid for believing the dumb things that you're saying. It's a distinction without a difference either way. Do better to say the fucking least.